Hi, I'm Lee Knox. I'm a senior wildlife biologist with the Wyoming Game and Fish out of Laramie, Wyoming. And I'm out here with the Laramie Conservation District on the Bath Ranch in the Hutton Wildlife Refuge. And we're looking at a fence that the Conservation District helped them install. And this is a wildlife friendly fence. Uh, some of the things to consider when uh, building a fence or reconstructing one is, is what kind of livestock you're going to be running and uh, also what kind of wildlife you're going to have moving through your area. We happen to be in um, mainly pronghorn winter range here. Uh, some of the key factors of this fence uh, being that the, the bottom strand is at least 16 inches off the ground, um, preferably 18. Uh, and that allows the pronghorn to easily uh, scoot underneath. Uh, the other added benefit to this is, is putting a smooth wire that lets them easily slip underneath the bottom. Uh, pronghorn will jump a fence, they prefer not to. Uh, some of the biggest barriers in Wyoming to pronghorn uh, migration corridors are fencing and, and roadways and uh, by helping get rid of some of these older fences and installing a really good wildlife friendly fence like this one uh, can really benefit the, the wildlife which is the reason we're in Wyoming. Uh, some of the other considerations are elk. Um, you know, in Wyoming we in the winter we can end up with large herds of several hundred head of elk and the better you make the fence for them to get over uh, the less fence you'll be fixing in the spring. Uh, so in this instance this is uh, 42 inches tall roughly we prefer at a maximum 42 uh, 40 to 42 with the next wire down being at least 12 inches down so that they can and smooth on top so they can easily jump over and uh, mule deer and elk when they when they jump over if the wires too close the way their back legs hit and if it's loose they'll hit and their legs will spin and then catch that second wire and it'll flip them and uh, that's pretty much the end of them um, and also if it gets too tall and they can't figure out how to go over it, those big herds will just shove them through and kind of tear down the whole thing. So and if you're interested in, in putting in a wildlife friendly type fence such as this one, uh, you know, you can get a hold of anybody from the Game and Fish that you work with or the NRCS Conservation District. And we also have publications online on the Wyoming Game and Fish webpage and also on the NRCS webpage.